Our top focus today in a landmark judgment, India's Supreme Court has recognized the right against the adverse effects of climate change as a distinct fundamental right in the Constitution. The court said that as the havoc caused by climate change increases year by year, it becomes necessary to articulate this as a distinct right. Linking the right against climate change to Articles 21 and 14, namely the right to equality and the right to life, Chief Justice Chandrachur said those rights could not be fully realized without a clean, stable environment. The judge came in a case connected with the survival of the endangered Great Indian Bustard species. The bird species' natural habitat and flight routes collide with power transmission lines in Gujarat and Rajasthan. In its ruling, the Supreme Court struck a delicate balance between the country's drive to shift from fossil fuel-based electricity to renewable energy and protection of the highly endangered Great Indian Bustard. The court noted that the right to healthy environment, safe from ill effects of climate change, was a fundamental human right. It underscored that the right to health is impacted due to factors such as air pollution, rising temperatures, droughts, shortage in food supplies due to crop failure, storms and flooding. The judgment also said that if climate change and environmental degradation lead to acute food and water shortage in a particular area, poorer communities will suffer more than richer ones. The court also highlighted the interconnection between climate change and various human rights, including the right to health, indigenous rights, gender equality and the right to development. And flash floods are wreaking havoc in Russia's Orenburg region after Europe's third longest river, Ural, burst through a dam. More than 6,000 homes have been flooded. At least 4,000 have been forced to evacuate. The city of Orsk is one of the worst affected in the region and the latest floods are the worst in decades to hit Russian regions in the Ural mountain ranges and Siberia. Meanwhile, rescue operations are underway in Orsk. The Russian Emergencies Ministry released footage of those stranded wading through neck-deep waters in boats. The ground floor was flooded in the nine-story apartment building there. The water went onto the floor on the ground floor. Emergency Minister Alexander Kurenkov visited the flood-hit region and took stock of the crisis. Also issued a statement saying that Putin spoke to the governors of the region where the flood water is expected to arrive. The flood situation in Kurgan region is extremely unfavorable. Six municipal districts, including regional center, are in possible flood zone, which is 62 settlements with a population over 18,000. The region is on heightened alert mode. According to state media, nine people, including three children, have been hospitalized in Osk, Europe's third longest river, Ural, which rises in the Ural mountain range and flows into the Caspian Sea, swelled several meters within a matter of hours on the 5th of April due to meltwater. It then burst through a dam embankment in the city of Osk, situated approximately 1,700 kilometers east of Moscow. Now, Parisians have dished their coats and jackets. Temperatures are now set to climb 28 degrees Celsius, which is unusually high for the city at this time of the year. Meteo France has said that the warmer weather is due to warm air masses continuing to circulate over much of Europe. The weather service said it is likely that France will break the record of warmest month of April. Temperatures are set to reach 30 degrees Celsius in the south of France. We will therefore see maximum temperatures of more than 10 degrees higher than the seasonal norms. So imagine if this happens in summer, that means a very significant heat wave and then for the future, we might be worried because we know that the warming will most likely continue for at least a few more decades. This type of heat episode with temperatures much higher than normal may become more and more frequent in the future in France, with temperatures sometimes even exceeding 25 in April. Euh, pourra devenir de plus en plus fréquent à la pluie.
Now, Alaska's largest city, it's close to breaking the record for the most snow ever in a winter season. It's only the third time Anchorage has gone over 130 inches in a season. This record is currently held by the winter of 1954-55, which saw 132.6 inches of snow. Take a look at these visuals. All right, that's all that we have lined up for you on Weon's Climate Tracker for today.